So my name is Vanessa Oliver and I'm one of the dietitians with the UK Health and Wellness Program. And my role with the CSA is really helping people not to be afraid of what they're getting in their share every week. So yeah, I do bring a little bit of a unique perspective to this program um, in that before I was here at UK Health and Wellness um, and before I was even a dietitian, um, I spent many, many years as a restaurant cook here in Lexington at a restaurant that was vegetable forward before it was cool. Um, and I was, as I mentioned, I was a cook and then a kitchen manager. So I was really able to kind of direct where the menu was going there. Um, I also worked for a local organic farm, um, just one county north of here, Elmwood Stock Farm. Um, and they happened to be one of the farms in our coalition too. None of that was planned. Um, but I did a variety of jobs for that farm. I worked for them for about 10 years. Um, I did a lot of customer facing work at the Lexington Farmers Market, as well as behind the scenes work, actually putting together the CSA baskets that we're talking about today. So I really have seen this program from all sides. My name's Jody Ensman. I am the manager of the health and wellness program here at the University of Kentucky, and we service and provide resources to faculty, staff, retirees, and spouses. And my role within the CSA voucher program here at UK is was first and foremost to establish that partnership with uh, Kentucky Farm Share Coalition. Um, as well as ensure that this is the direction that we as a wellness program would like to take as far as an offering uh, for our employees to take advantage of. What I like about the Workplace CSA and what the value is really just sort of mirrors the value of CSAs in general, right? I mean, it helps people, yes, it helps people with behavior change, but it does so in a way that can be fun and engaging, not just for people within their households and within their family, but also within their workplace community when it comes into the workplace part of that CSA. Um, it helps people to engage with new foods, engage with new cooking behaviors, engage with new people when they meet their farms, uh, farmers every week. Um, and all of that is you know, only good, right? And plus, of course, keeping their dollars and their local food economy, um, it, it just makes people think, where does their money go um, and how can they improve the community in which they live? Actually, I see there are multiple values associated with this program. I feel like not only are we providing the employees with an opportunity to receive fresh produce, but we're also giving them an opportunity to uh, support local farms. So it kind of goes hand in hand. Of course, the local farms is a byproduct of really what we are after in health and wellness in regards to the main emphasis being on nutrition and healthier eating. From an employer standpoint and from a wellness director standpoint, the value of offering a CSA goes beyond just the, the business case as far as a return on investment. However, fortunately, we were able to show that there is a return on investment uh, in regards to medical claims, but it's also the right thing and the good thing to do for your employees. And that is why UK has provided this CSA voucher program to employees is because it is the right thing to do. We want to encourage healthy living and also as a byproduct of that, healthcare claims have been um, uh, lessened because of that. Yeah, so for not everybody, but for a lot of the people um, who are in our population here at you know, UK Health and Wellness, so it's UK employees and their spouses essentially, and retirees and their spouses, um, we're looking at some pretty significant behavior change for a lot of them, right? And so when it comes to behavior change, we can really change kind of three things, right? We can change what people do, we can change how people think and we can change how people feel, okay? And the changing, the, how people think 
can be a little bit challenging because people kind of, they already know they, they should eat more vegetables, right? Um, they know this, you know, we don't need to hammer that point home. Um, what there tends to be though, is sort of a, a difference between that intention and that action. So we're really looking to see different ways where we can create a bridge between intention and action. So that leaves how people feel and what people do, right? How people feel about their vegetables and what people do with their vegetables. And so I think that's where a lot of our programming really aims to, to attack, right? Um, so in that way, we're looking for ways to create fun ways to engage not only with their vegetables, fun ways to engage with their farmers, but also to engage within the larger UK community and sort of create a CSA family. Um, and we've had a lot of different opportunities to do that. Yeah, sure. So we've tried, um, it, it looks a little bit different every year, of course. Um, but one of the things that we've done sort of in the beginning of the season is an event, right? For people to get together um, with uh, other people in the UK family who are also CSA shareholders, where they can meet their farmers, uh, maybe try some new foods, um, and just engage with everyone as a community. And that usually happens um, before the actual CSA shares come to fruition, so about January or February. Um, once the CSA season is underway, then we've done a variety of things. They generally tend to circle around uh, cooking classes, um, and I've sort of landed, I think recently, on a formula that works the best, which is a very sort of collaborative effort when it comes to cooking class. Instead of just watching me cook something, which is fine. I want people to do it. I want people to see that they can do it. And not only that they can see how they do it, but see how other people in the room are attempting the same recipe. Um, and it's been great not only to see people share techniques and tips within each other's recipes that day, but also what they do with that kohlrabi at home or how they got their kid to you know bring a new vegetable for lunch or how their husband actually liked this when you know they prepared it differently so hearing those conversations occur around the cooking lab table has been wonderful um, some other um, sorts of strategies that we've tried to we have a blog that we maintain where i post what i've been cooking from my csa basket because i mean yeah, I'm a dietitian. Yeah, I have all this experience, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just a person who gets a CSA basket. So um, I feel like sort of sharing my attempts to use all of my kale, for example, can be useful for other people as well. Yeah, so in the last couple of years, one way that we like to engage our employees is by offering them an opportunity to meet directly or meet the farms and the farms that are participating in our voucher program. And although um, in years past it may have looked a little bit differently, this year what we are going to do is provide an opportunity for employees to drop in to meet any farm that they might be interested in purchasing a share from. Um, more specifically, if they are just learning about what a CSA actually is, this is a good opportunity for them to drop in as well. Again, we are just trying to help educate employees about what a CSA is and then meet those farms and be, try to begin to build that relationship between the employee and the farm. We want to, when again, looking at that behavior change, we want to make it easy, right? And we want to make it something that people are actually going to want to do and take away any barriers that might exist. Like we're taking away or at least lessening a financial barrier with the $200 subsidy, right? So we want to continue to remove those barriers. And anytime you can make something easier for people to do, it's going to stick. So we have these cooking classes on campus during the lunch hour when they're already here. The, the location is centrally located, so they can walk there from most areas on campus. Um, it's less than an hour. The recipe itself is 30 minutes or less. It, for the most part, just uses pantry ingredients so that people aren't 
you know, not only are they faced with a rutabaga, but now they have to buy, you know, something else weird, you know. Um, and people are creating the recipe themselves and they're tasting as they go. And if they need to modify um, the recipe for their own tastes, they're encouraged to do so. So all of those, it's really a collaboration, like I mentioned. Um, and then, of course, before we all start cooking, I will give those, you know, nutrition facts and tips that people like to hear, you know, that sort of quantitative data, you know, this has so many milligrams of vitamin C, um, here are some storage tips, here are some things you can do with the leftovers. Um, so really trying to hit all angles of potential barriers that people might be feeling or think that they're feeling when it comes to a particular vegetable or just their share in general. We are all about prevention and trying to encourage healthier living. And the resources that we provide fall in a few different categories. One being physical activity, another being stress and resiliency, and the other one, and which one applies to the CSA voucher program, is a nutrition component of our program. So in regards to the CSA, it fits nicely within our nutrition resources. Um, because what we're trying to do is encourage healthy eating and what is um, what the CSA voucher program allows for our employees to to do that. Yeah, so the Kentucky Farm Share Coalition has been such a great partner to work with. Um, I mean, of course, they help us by acting a little bit as, I don't know, a middle person, a middleman. Um, between UK Health and Wellness and the farmers, but they're also wonderful to bounce ideas off of, um, to help us sort of corral all of the, the thoughts and feelings that we have about offering this benefit to our employees and help us focus it into meaningful programming that can really help change a lot of lives. Yeah, so the Kentucky Farm Share Coalition is a, a very critical part of our CSA voucher program. As a matter of fact, um, I feel from an employer standpoint that it would be very, very overwhelming for any one individual to maintain relationships to five farms to actually begin a program such as this. So to have Kentucky Farm Share Coalition be able to form those relationships, have policies and procedures that are similar in nature that then we can as an employer implement is extremely helpful. Um, I see them as a valued partner in this CSA voucher program that we offer to UK employees.